Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is my review of the of chapter one of the new manga series, Attack on Titan, Gaiden, uh, A Choice with No Regrets. So this is the just a little bit of clarification first. This is the manga series that's being written by I forget who. Uh, not Hajime Sayama, though, based on Attack on Titan, based on Levy's past. Not to be confused with the original Attack on Titan manga by Hajime Isayama or the, the Before the Fall uh, manga. This is a third manga series that's being written at the same exact time as those other two. So, yes. So, basically, I thought this first chapter was pretty good. Um it sets up the world that they're in, I thought, pretty well, although there's definitely lots of room to expand in the future, which I really hope that they do in future chapters. Alright. But basically, the gist, of, the gist of it here is that we have Levy who seems to be a fugitive because he has he and his teammates have 3D maneuver gear but they're not members of the, members of the survey corps because they don't have those symbols on their be on the, on their uh, cloaks and you know some people are wondering how they how the hell they could have 3D maneuver gear my guess is either they stole it off others who do have who did have it legally or they bought it off the black market because it was said in the series that 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 you're able to, or that they have been sold on the black market before, so that so that could be the case too. Um, you know, but either way, and there's a this female and this male who are accompanying him, and they seem to have big dreams that and aspirations of at one day leaving the walls, and uh, all right, so similar to you know Aaron and his friends. And what, one other thing I wanted to mention, though, is that that, sh that female actually reminds me a lot of Aaron. So, this is just a theory that I have here. But, what if, like, because Isayama has said, stated before that Levy is a lot older than he looks, but he, but he hasn't really elaborated on it. And, as we all know, when... Humans are in their Titan forms. They don't age for that moment, for those moments that they're in their Titan forms, like at all. All right. So, so what? What if Lev, like Levy, um, has has like Titan D powers or some sort of Titan DNA, and so that would allow him to be alive when tr when. Carla, uh, Aaron's mother, was really young, and then those two kind of hit it off and whatnot, and started dating, and then for some reason they broke it off, and, and <laughs> then years later Carla met Grisha, who I believe is uh, Aaron's father, and and yeah, you know we wouldn't see Levy as that kind of person really, I wouldn't think, but you know it it could be possible. I mean, it's clear that he's not really as cruel as he makes to believe so you know and and you know this isn't a show go a, sh a, sh a shoujo magazine now uh, I even though the series is is a seinen so you know if that did happen then that there would be the show to be a seinen or the shoujo element edit there to justify the magazine I suppose um, only one other thing I want to mention, though, is, well, first off, you know, Levy still seems to have a lot of the skills that he had now, back then, which is pretty fucking awesome, but one last thing I want to mention, about, which is about the end of the chapter, which is where Levy and Erwin lock eyes with each other, and basically just staring each other down. I was wondering why, and I came up with two possible theories for this. Either they know each other and they were looking for each other, all right, or you know, Irwin was thinking like, "Hey, this dude's, this dude has 3D maneuver gear, but he's not part of the Survey Corps. He, we should appreh apprehend him." All right, or maybe he's thinking that, but he's also thinking, 
we should try to get this guy into the survey course because this guy's really fucking skilled. <laughs> he would be a huge asset to humanity. He could also be thinking that as well. So, but overall, this was a pretty good chapter. My only major complaint was how short it was. It was only 12 pages long, which, at least where I read it, which is kind of short. Um, but um, it's only the first chapter. I'm sure that it'll get longer later on. Uh, for some reason, first chapter seemed to be like extra long or extra for some reason. I don't know why. But anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.